A lattice is an abstract structure studied in the mathematical subdisciplines of order theory and abstract algebra. It consists of a partially ordered set in which every two elements have a unique supremum also called a least upper bound or join and a unique infimum also called a greatest lower bound or meet. An example is given by the natural numbers, partially ordered by divisibility, for which the unique supremum is the least common multiple and the unique infimum is the greatest common divisor. Lattices can also be characterized as algebraic structures satisfying certain axiomatic identities. Since the two definitions are equivalent, lattice theory draws on both order theory and universal algebra. Semilattices include lattices, which in turn include hating and Boolean algebras. These lattice-like structures all admit order theoretic as well as algebraic descriptions. Topic. Lattices as partially ordered sets If L is a partially ordered set pose, and S L is an arbitrary subset, then an element U element of L is said to be an upper bound of S if S U for each S element of S A set may have many upper bounds, or none at all. An upper bound U of S is said to be its least upper bound, or join, or supremum, if U X for each upper bound X of S A set need not have a least upper bound, but it cannot have more than one. Dually, L element of L is said to be a lower bound of S if L S for each S element of S A lower bound L of S is said to be its greatest lower bound, or meet, or infimum, if X L for each lower bound X of S A set may have many lower bounds, or none at all, but can have at most one greatest lower bound. A partially ordered set L is called a join semilattice if each two element subset A B L has a join i.e. least upper bound and is called a meet semilattice if each two element subset has a meet i.e. greatest lower bound denoted by a B and a B respectively L is called a lattice if it is both a join and a meet semilattice This definition makes and binary operations both operations are monotone with respect to the order, A1 A2 and B1 B2 implies that A1 B1 A2 B2 and A1 B1 A2 B2. It follows by an induction argument that every non-empty finite subset of a lattice has a least upper bound and a greatest lower bound. With additional assumptions, further conclusions may be possible, see completeness order theory for more discussion of this subject. That article also discusses how one may rephrase the above definition in terms of the existence of suitable Galois connections between related partially ordered sets an approach of special interest for the category theoretic approach to lattices, and for formal concept analysis. A bounded lattice is a lattice that additionally has a greatest element, also called maximum, or top element, and denoted by one, or by display style top and a least element also called minimum or bottom denoted by zero or by display style bot which satisfy 0x1 for every x in L every lattice can be embedded into a bounded lattice by adding an artificial greatest and least element and every non-empty finite lattice is bounded by taking the join resp meet of all elements denoted by L equals a one a n display style big V L equals a underscore one law C D O T S law or underscore n resp L equals a one a n Display style big wedge L equals a underscore one land C D O T S land or underscore N where L equals one A N Display style L equals a underscore one L dots are underscore N 
A partially ordered set is a bounded lattice if and only if every finite set of elements including the empty set has a join and a meet. For every element x of a pose A it is trivially true it is a vacuous truth that element of x display style forla in varnothing x leq and element of a x display style forla in varnothing a leq x and therefore every element of a pose a is both an upper bound and a lower bound of the empty set this implies that the join of an empty set is the least element equals 0 display style big v varnothing equals 0 and the meat of the empty set is the greatest element equals 1 display style big wedge varnothing equals 1 this is consistent with the associativity and commutativity of meet and join. The join of a union of finite sets is equal to the join of the joins of the sets, and duly, the meet of a union of finite sets is equal to the meet of the meets of the sets, i.e., for finite subsets A and B of a pose A L a B equals a B Display style big V left a cup B right equals left big V A right V left big V B right and a B equals a B display style big wedge left a cup B right equals left big wedge A right wedge left big wedge B right hold Taking B to be the empty set, A equals A equals A zero equals A display style big V left a cup empty set right equals left big V A right V left big V empty set right equals left big V A right V zero equals big V A and A equals A equals A one equals A display style big wedge left a cup empty set right equals left big wedge A right wedge left big wedge empty set right equals left big wedge a right wedge 1 equals big wedge a which is consistent with the fact that a equals a display style a cup empty set equals a a lattice element y is said to cover another element x if y greater than x but there does not exist a z such that y greater than z greater than x here, y greater than x means x y and x does not equal y. A lattice L is called graded, sometimes ranked, but see ranked pose for an alternative meaning, if it can be equipped with a rank function r from L2, sometimes 2, compatible with the ordering so r x given a subset of a lattice, h L, meet and join restrict to partial functions, they are undefined if their value is not in the subset h the resulting structure on h is called a partial lattice. In addition to this extrinsic definition as a subset of some other algebraic structure a lattice, a partial lattice can also be intrinsically defined as a set with two partial binary operations satisfying certain axioms. <laughs> Lattices as algebraic structures Topic: General lattice. An algebraic structure L consisting of a set L and two binary operations, and on L is a lattice if the following axiomatic identities hold for all elements A, B, C of L. The following two identities are also usually regarded as axioms, even though they follow from the two absorption laws taken together. Idempotent laws a equals a a equals a. These axioms assert that both L and L are semilattices. 
the absorption laws, the only axioms above in which both meet and join appear, distinguish a lattice from an arbitrary pair of semilattices and assure that the two semilattices interact appropriately. In particular, each semilattice is the dual of the other. Equals. Topic: Bounded lattice. Equals. A bounded lattice is an algebraic structure of the form L zero one such that L is a lattice zero. The lattice's bottom is the identity element for the join operation, and one, the lattice's top, is the identity element for the meet operation. Identity laws. A zero equals a a one equals a. See semilattice for further details. Equals. Topic: Connection to other algebraic structures. Equals. Lattices have some connections to the family of group-like algebraic structures. Because meet and join both commute and associate, a lattice can be viewed as consisting of two commutative semigroups having the same domain. For a bounded lattice, these semigroups are in fact commutative monoids. The absorption law is the only defining identity that is peculiar to lattice theory. By commutativity and associativity one can think of join and meet as binary operations that are defined on non-empty finite sets, rather than on elements. In a bounded lattice the empty join and the empty meet can also be defined as 0 and 1, respectively. This makes bounded lattices somewhat more natural than general lattices, and many authors require all lattices to be bounded. The algebraic interpretation of lattices plays an essential role in universal algebra. Topic: <laughs> Connection between the two definitions. An order theoretic lattice gives rise to the two binary operations and since the commutative, associative and absorption laws can easily be verified for these operations, they make L into a lattice in the algebraic sense. The converse is also true. Given an algebraically defined lattice L, one can define a partial order on L by setting a B if A equals a B, or a B if B equals a B, for all elements A and B from L. The laws of absorption ensure that both definitions are equivalent. A topic a b implies b b b a topic a b b a b and duly for the other direction. One can now check that the relation introduced in this way defines a partial ordering within which binary meets and joins are given through the original operations and since the two definitions of a lattice are equivalent, one may freely invoke aspects of either definition in any way that suits the purpose at hand. Examples For any set A, the collection of all subsets of A called the power set of A can be ordered via subset inclusion to obtain a lattice bounded by A itself and the null set. Set intersection and union interpret meet and join, respectively see pick point one. For any set A, the collection of all finite subsets of A, ordered by inclusion, is also a lattice, and will be bounded if and only if A is finite. For any set A, the collection of all partitions of A, ordered by refinement, is a lattice see pick point three. The positive integers in their usual order form a lattice, under the operations of min and max. One is bottom, there is no top see pick point four. 
the Cartesian square of the natural numbers, ordered so that a, b, c, d if a c and b d. The pair 0, 0 is the bottom element, there is no top see pick point five. The natural numbers also form a lattice under the operations of taking the greatest common divisor and least common multiple, with divisibility as the order relation, a b if a divides b. 1 is bottom, 0 is top. Pick point 2 shows a finite sublattice. Every complete lattice also see below is a rather specific bounded lattice. This class gives rise to a broad range of practical examples. The set of compact elements of an arithmetic complete lattice is a lattice with a least element, where the lattice operations are given by restricting the respective operations of the arithmetic lattice. This is the specific property which distinguishes arithmetic lattices from algebraic lattices, for which the compacts do only form a joined semilattice. Both of these classes of complete lattices are studied in domain theory. Further examples of lattices are given for each of the additional properties discussed below. Topic: <coughs> <coughs> Counter examples. Most partial ordered sets are not lattices, including the following. A discrete pose, meaning a pose such that x y implies x equals y, is a lattice if and only if it has at most one element. In particular the two-element discrete pose is not a lattice. Although the set 1, 2, 3, 6 partially ordered by divisibility is a lattice, the set 1, 2, 3 so ordered is not a lattice because the pair 2, 3 lacks a join, and it lacks a meet in 2, 3, 6. The set 1, 2, 3, 12, 18, 36 partially ordered by divisibility is not a lattice. Every pair of elements has an upper bound and a lower bound, but the pair 2, 3 has three upper bounds, namely 12, 18, and 36, none of which is the least of those three under divisibility. 12 and 18 do not divide each other, likewise the pair 12, 18 has three lower bounds, namely 1, 2, and 3, none of which is the greatest of those three under divisibility. 2 and 3 do not divide each other. Topic. Morphisms of lattices The appropriate notion of a morphism between two lattices flows easily from the above algebraic definition. Given two lattices L, L, L and M, 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 a lattice homomorphism from L to M is a function f, L, M such that for all A, B element of L, F A L B equals F A M F B and F A L B equals F A M F B. Thus, F is a homomorphism of the two underlying semilattices. When lattices with more structure are considered, the morphisms should respect the extra structure too. In particular, a bounded lattice homomorphism, usually called just lattice homomorphism. F between two bounded lattices L and M should also have the following property F 0 L equals 0 M, and F 1 L equals 1 M. In the order theoretic formulation, these conditions just state that a homomorphism of lattices is a function preserving binary meets and joins. For bounded lattices, preservation of least and greatest elements is just preservation of join and meet of the empty set. Any homomorphism of lattices is necessarily monotone with respect to the associated ordering relation, see preservation of limits. The converse is not true, monotonicity by no means implies the required preservation of meets and joins see pick point nine, although an order preserving bijection is a homomorphism if its inverse is also order preserving. Given the standard definition of isomorphisms as invertible morphisms, a lattice isomorphism is just a bijective lattice homomorphism. 
Similarly, a lattice endomorphism is a lattice homomorphism from a lattice to itself, and a lattice automorphism is a bijective lattice endomorphism. Lattices and their homomorphisms form a category. Topic: <laughs> Sublattices. A sublattice of a lattice L is a non-empty subset of L that is a lattice with the same meet and join operations as L. That is, if L is a lattice and M does not equal, display style varnoving is a subset of L such that for every pair of elements A, B in M both a B and a B are in M, then M is a sublattice of L. A sublattice M of a lattice L is a convex sublattice of L, if X Z Y and X, Y in M implies that Z belongs to M, for all elements X, Y, Z in L. <laughs> Properties of lattices We now introduce a number of important properties that lead to interesting special classes of lattices. 1. Boundedness, has already been discussed. Completeness A pose A is called a complete lattice if all its subsets have both a join and a meet. In particular, every complete lattice is a bounded lattice. While bounded lattice homomorphisms in general preserve only finite joins and meets, complete lattice homomorphisms are required to preserve arbitrary joins and meets. Every pose A that is a complete semilattice is also a complete lattice. Related to this result is the interesting phenomenon that there are various competing notions of homomorphism for this class of posets, depending on whether they are seen as complete lattices, complete join semilattices, complete meet semilattices, or as join complete or meet complete lattices. Note that, partial lattice is not the opposite of complete lattice, rather, partial lattice. Lattice and complete lattice are increasingly restrictive definitions. Topic: <laughs> Conditional completeness. A conditionally complete lattice is a lattice in which every non-empty subset that has an upper bound has a join, i.e., a least upper bound. Such lattices provide the most direct generalization of the completeness axiom of the real numbers. A conditionally complete lattice is either a complete lattice, or a complete lattice without its maximum element 1, its minimum element 0, or both. Distributivity <inaudible> 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 Since lattices come with two binary operations, it is natural to ask whether one of them distributes over the other, i.e. whether one or the other of the following dual laws holds for every three elements A, B, C of L Distributivity of over A B C equals A B A C Distributivity of over a B C equals a B a C a lattice that satisfies the first or equivalently as it turns out the second axiom is called a distributive lattice the only non distributive lattices with fewer than 6 elements are called M3 and N5 they are shown in picture 10 and 11 respectively a lattice is distributive if and only if it doesn't have a sublattice isomorphic to M3 or N5 each distributive lattice is isomorphic to a lattice of sets with union and intersection as join and meet, respectively, for an overview of stronger notions of distributivity which are appropriate for complete lattices and which are used to define more special classes of lattices such as frames and completely distributive lattices, see distributivity in order theory. Modularity For some applications the distributivity condition is too strong, and the following weaker property is often useful. 
a lattice L is modular if, for all elements A, B, C of L, the following identity holds. Modular identity a C B C equals a C B C. This condition is equivalent to the following axiom. Modular law. A C implies a B C equals a B C. A lattice is modular if and only if it doesn't have a sublattice isomorphic to N five, shown in Pick point one one. Besides distributive lattices, examples of modular lattices are the lattice of two-sided ideals of a ring, the lattice of submodules of a module, and the lattice of normal subgroups of a group. The set of first-order terms with the ordering is more specific than is a non-modular lattice used in automated reasoning. Topic: <laughs> Semimodularity. A finite lattice is modular if and only if it is both upper and lower semimodular. For a graded lattice, upper semimodularity is equivalent to the following condition on the rank function R. R x plus R y R x y plus R x y. Another equivalent for graded lattices condition is Birkhoff's condition. For each x and y in L, if x and y both cover x y, then x y covers both x and y. A lattice is called lower semimodular if its dual is semimodular. For finite lattices, this means that the previous conditions hold with an exchanged covers, exchanged with is covered by, and inequalities reversed. Topic. Continuity and algebraicity In domain theory, it is natural to seek to approximate the elements in a partial order by much simpler elements. This leads to the class of continuous posets, consisting of posets where every element can be obtained as the supremum of a directed set of elements that are way below the element. If one can additionally restrict these to the compact elements of a pose for obtaining these directed sets, then the pose is even algebraic. Both concepts can be applied to lattices as follows. A continuous lattice is a complete lattice that is continuous as a pose. An algebraic lattice is a complete lattice that is algebraic as a pose. Both of these classes have interesting properties. For example, continuous lattices can be characterized as algebraic structures with infinitary operations satisfying certain identities. While such a characterization is not known for algebraic lattices, they can be described syntactically via Scott information systems. Topic: <laughs> Complements and pseudo-complements. Let L be a bounded lattice with greatest element 1 and least element 0. Two elements X and Y of L are complements of each other if and only if X Y Topic 1 and X Y 0. In general, some elements of a bounded lattice might not have a complement, and others might have more than one complement. For example, the set 0, 1 half, 1 with its usual ordering is a bounded lattice, and 1 half does not have a complement. In the bounded lattice N5, the element A has two complements, viz., B and C. See pick point one one. A bounded lattice for which every element has a complement is called a complemented lattice. A complemented lattice that is also distributive is a Boolean algebra. For a distributive lattice, the complement of X, when it exists, is unique. In the case the complement is unique, we write X. Topic. Y and equivalently, Y. X. The corresponding unary operation over L, called complementation, introduces an analogue of logical negation into lattice theory. 
Hating algebras are an example of distributive lattices where some members might be lacking complements. Every element X of a hating algebra has, on the other hand, a pseudo-complement, also denoted X. The pseudo-complement is the greatest element Y such that X Y equals zero. If the pseudo-complement of every element of a hating algebra is in fact a complement, then the hating algebra is in fact a Boolean algebra. Equals. Topic Jordan Dedekind chain condition equals a chain from x0 to xn is a set x0, x1, xn, display style x underscore 0, x underscore 1, L dots, x underscore n, where x0 by 1 by 2, xn, display style x underscore 0. The length of this chain is n, or 1 less than its number of elements. A chain is maximal if she covers she minus 1 for all 1 i n. If for any pair, x and y, where x <laughs> Free lattices Any set x may be used to generate the free semilattice fx. The free semilattice is defined to consist of all of the finite subsets of X, with the semilattice operation given by ordinary set union. The free semilattice has the universal property. For the free lattice over a set X, Whitman gave a construction based on polynomials over X's members. Topic: <laughs> Important lattice theoretic notions. We now define some order theoretic notions of importance to lattice theory. In the following, let x be an element of some lattice L. If L has a bottom element 0, x does not equal 0 is sometimes required. x is called join irreducible if x. Topic of B implies X A or X equals B for all A, B in L when the first condition is generalized to arbitrary joins I element of I A I display style big V underscore I in I A underscore I, X is called completely join irreducible or irreducible. The dual notion is meet irreducibility irreducible. For example, in pick point 2, the elements 2, 3, 4, and 5 are join irreducible, while 12, 15, 20, and 30 are meet irreducible. In the lattice of real numbers with the usual order, each element is join irreducible, but none is completely join irreducible. Join prime if x a b implies x a or x b. This too can be generalized to obtain the notion completely join prime. The dual notion is meet prime. Every join prime element is also join irreducible, and every meet prime element is also meet irreducible. The converse holds if L is distributive, let L have a bottom element 0. An element X of L is an atom if 0 atomic if for every non-zero element X of L, there exists an atom of L such that a X, atomistic if every element of L is a supremum of atoms, the notions of ideals and the dual notion of filters refer to particular kinds of subsets of a partially ordered set, and are therefore important for lattice theory. Details can be found in the respective entries. Topic. See also Join and meet Map of lattices Orthocomplemented lattice Total order Ideal and filter dual notions Skew lattice Generalization to non-commutative join and meet Eulerian lattice Posts lattice Tamari lattice Young Fibonacci lattice 0, 1 simple lattice Topic. Applications that use lattice theory Note that in many applications the sets are only partial lattices, not every pair of elements has a meet or join. Pointless topology Lattice of subgroups 
spectral space invariant subspace closure operator abstract interpretation subsumption lattice fuzzy set theory equals equals notes <laughs>